थर्टीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय हसन गिलानी फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस Prime Minister has emphasized that Pakistan's nuclear and strategic capability is safe and secure under robust command and control. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their continued acts of state terrorism have murdered 18 Kashmiris during last month. Russia has offered to host talks to end fighting between Azerbaijan and Armenian forces in disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region. In Afghanistan, nine people were killed in a suicide attack in Helmand Province today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has emphasized that Pakistan's nuclear and strategic capability is safe and secure under robust command and control system. During his visit to satellite ground station Sparko in Islamabad, the Prime Minister assured requisite support for expansion of space-based services and infrastructure to give impetus to National Space Program 2047 for socio-economic development. Prime Minister was briefed about Sparko's achievements in developing indigenous capabilities in space, science and technology. Prime Minister Imran Khan has expressed Pakistan's strong commitment to protect and preserve biodiversity. Addressing virtually United Nations Summit on Biodiversity at heads of state and government level, the Prime Minister, who also co-chaired the session, said Pakistan is in top 10 countries most vulnerable to climate change. He said we have also increased national parks from 30 to 39 in two years as part of our Protected Areas Initiative launched during the COVID-19 year. Iraq. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called for greater ambition to reverse biodiversity loss. Speaking at UN Biodiversity Summit, Guterres said biodiversity and ecosystems are central to achieving the sustainable development goals and implementing Paris Agreement on climate change. He warned that neglecting our precious resources can exacerbate geopolitical tensions and conflicts. 543 new cases of coronavirus surfaced in the country after tests of over 34000 people were conducted during the last 24 hours according to latest statistics the pandemic claimed lives of five more people during the last 24 hours 297497 patients have so far recovered from the disease there are now 8825 active cases in the country Vice Admiral Mohammad Amjad Khan Niazi has been appointed as new chief of naval staff according to Pakistan Navy spokesman Vice Admiral Mohammad Amjad Khan Niazi will succeed Admiral Zafar Mahmood Abbasi who will relinquish the command of Pakistan Navy on 7th of this month the change of command ceremony will be held at PNS Zafar Islamabad In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian troops in their continued acts of state terrorism have murdered 18 Kashmiris during last month according to data issued by research section of Kashmir Media Service today 16 people were injured due to the use of brute force by Indian troops and police personnel on peaceful protesters in the territory Indian troops murdered 148 Kashmiris during violent cordon and search operations in the last 6 months in IIOJK. Meanwhile, an officer of Indian Border Security Force committed suicide in Jammu district. The incident has raised the number of such deaths among Indian troops and police personnel in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir to 472 since January 2007. Azerbaijan's president Ilham Aliyev has said that border clashes may stop if the Armenian army withdraws its troops. Talking to Azerbaijani soldiers during a visit, he said ours is the cause of justice and we are fighting for the motherland. Meanwhile, more than 100 deaths have been reported since Sunday in the heaviest fighting over Nagorno-Karabakh region which is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan. Meanwhile, Russia has offered to host talks on ending the fighting between Azerbaijan and Armenian forces in the disputed region of Nagorno-Karabakh. Russian Foreign Minister's office confirmed that Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov made the offer in calls to both governments and urged them to halt warlike rhetoric. 
In Afghanistan, nine people, including five security personnel, were killed after a Taliban suicide bomber detonated a car bomb outside a security checkpoint in Helmand province today. Four people also injured in the attack. And this is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.